go get checked in. We all like to get away now and again. And what better way than to spend a few nights at a hotel? We're here this week as we check into three hotels so we can check them out for you. Welcome to the Best Western Salon in Ljubljana. Look, we have access to this courtyard area and this window does open. So it opens this way, but then I believe it also opens up this way. Wow, this is, this is a bit strange that it opens um, this way as well as from top to bottom. There's a reception area as soon as you step in through the door. Isn't that right, Paul? Yes. So let me close this first. So this is the area that I think we would keep our suitcases to be nice and tidy. So to the left, we have the bathroom. So let's take a look in here. So we have the shower area. Um, there is the shower that you can have Further up, there's also a bath that Marcus would love to have because I know how much he does love a bath. And there is La, La Cote. So this is the French brand. So there is the repairing shampoo and the revitalizing shower gel. So I think we will be using that and smelling quite lovely, I would imagine. There are towels over here, really nice and fluffy towels. So there is two shower towels and I think two hand towels. Or what are they called? I see an elephant on the toilet roll. So yes, I think that Ljubljana is known for its elephants. So I think this is nice and cute, I would say. So right next to it, there is this um toilet and no this isn't one of those that go down slowly so you have to be careful with that so we do also have these le Cossetin french products so i believe that this is their official supplier or those that they use for the hotel so this is a nice french touch so there is i think um hand wash body lotion, body lotion, and um, shower caps, and these are um, for nail filing. So we have two glasses. I don't really need the glasses to be honest, but I think Marcus does like the use of a glass. So we have two of them, and we also have two of these face towels. I don't really use them either, so I think that they might just be um, hand towels. Not everywhere has the hairdryer, especially Travel Lodge, so shame on you Travel Lodge, but this isn't about you. This is about the Best Western, and I do like the fact of them having this hairdryer. Let's make sure that it works, okay? So I think, and okay, no, <laughs> that's not it. All right, I think there's an off, uh, high, medium, cool. So I think I would need to press this, as well as moving it. Yes, this is quite high. Let's see whether the medium works. Yeah, I guess this is medium strength. Let's see what the cool feels like. So I think the high felt hot. The medium felt kind of um, lukewarm. The coat didn't really feel hot at all. And I think you could just leave it on off, which wouldn't even work. So I do appreciate that we do have three settings on this hairdryer. Now, let's look at the main room, shall we? To my left, there is the mini bar and um, sand. 
So here's for organization. If you have things to organize, we have, I think that's a bottle of champagne. Is it? Why? Would, no, it's Cabernet Sauvignon. So these are for purchase. And also for purchase is these Pringles and these other things up here. And then there is plenty of um, Moe, there's Heineken, Coca-Cola, orange juice, I guess. What is this? Oh, this is like a Starbucks thing. There is um, Pellegrino, and then there's other uh, mineral water, and then there is spirits on the top shelf. This is the price listing. So they are in euros, so the water and sparkling, I think that that's four pounds. Coca-Cola, 450. Beers 580, gin and tonic. What? There's a gin and tonic? So, what is that? Is it like gin and the tonic in one? That's a bit strange. Okay, fine. So then that's 550. There's cognac, Jägermeister, and whiskey. I'm not liking the Jägermeister, but each to their own. So there's wine, there's champagne, which we saw inside the Starbucks the chips and stuff. So I do think that it's a nice variety of things that they do have on offer. But what is this? This is weird. What's <laughs> this? So do I turn this? Ah, oh, it's a lie. <laughs> and I guess, I think this is like one of those sad lights, I think, where you could adjust the light depending on the time of day. So this is like for um, morning, I guess. And like, this is like for before going to bed be, because it's a bit more um, soft. So it's, so I think it's good that they have this um, light to help with the sadness. So let's turn this off now. We, do have some free things on offer they so with compliments this bottle or this um tetra pack water uh how much is in here um 750 750 um mls so this it doesn't really seem that big <laughs> i guess well i guess freeze better than nothing correct so we will take this Okay, and over to this side, we have uh, the kettle, we have tea and coffee type things, there are sachets, Nescafe Gold, we also have sugars, which Marcus will be, wait, this is decaffeinated freeze-dried coffee, okay, so this is freeze-dried decaf. Okay, and we have green tea, peppermint tea, English breakfast, but we only have one milk. I'm sorry, what? Who doesn't like milk with their coffee? <laughs> so I think we do need to stock up on that. But there is tons of brown and white sugar as well as sweetener. So I think that we're sweet enough, but Marcus begs to differ. Now let's see what the slate has to offer. What is this? Like the setup looks very weird. So no, it's not this. Is it this? What the? Okay, no, there's a switch here. Okay, so there's only one setting, which is fine. So now let's also look at each of these um, light switches. So. If I climb over, I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> so, so let's switch that on. It says, dear Gus, please help us. Okay, fine now. I think that talks about the makeup of the room and whether you need um, room service. Or not. Is that an elephant on the bed, Paul? Yes, it is. Um, this elephant, so it says 
Take me home and contribute to children in need. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to a children's charity. So this elephant is 15 euros. Is she worth 15 euros? Yes, I am. Sorry? I am. Okay. We will consider you at a later point. Okay, down you go. Okay, first impressions. This picture is a bit lopsided going towards the left hand side. I don't really want to move it just in case I end up dropping it and breaking it and be charged for it. So why don't we just leave it wonky, shall we? Okay, so now this lovely bed. Okay, so it does feel nice and soft and I am quite tired so at the moment, I could end up falling asleep if I was on this bed lying flat down. So I think I am going to be rather optimistic and say, I believe I will have a really good night's sleep from this hotel bed. So let's see what they have for entertainment. So a interesting channel that I stumbled upon is Ljubljana. Ljubljana TV. So I believe this is kind of like um, local news because it covers Ljubljana. Ljubljana. So I think this is a good way for those that are in the capital to stay um, city focused. So this is good to know. So there is ample space to hold any of the clothes that you have an offer. So I like to pack in these vacuum type bags. So this is Marcus's, so he has quite a few bits and bobs. So this is something that I did wear before. So I like to have something like that. Um, in the wardrobe, there is a uh, gown. This bathrobe is courtesy during your stay. Upon checkout, please leave it in the room. You can also purchase this item for 60 euro. Please contact reception desk for further details. I don't think I need that. I I have one at home. Um, okay, so then they also have an umbrella that is uh, a, a courtesy to the guest. Um, for those of us that want to purchase it, it costs 10 euros, so this isn't that bad for 10 euros, but do we really need one? I'm not really sure we do, but it is possible if you do want it. So it's a nice umbrella, so maybe we'll have to think about it. Now let's see what's on this other side. So there's another row because this is for two people. So this and this, there are slippers. Uh, I did bring my own, but yeah, I think this is a nice touch. And then there is also a sewing kit. What's a shoe mitt? Not sure what a shoe mitt is. Uh, so yeah, there's two of each, and then there is a shoe horn. I don't think this is for us to take, though. But yeah. Oh, um, there is also laundry type of facility as well. So if you want like your shirt done or whatever, so here are the prices. So a t-shirt's two, two forty, shirt blouse is two, uh, four fifty. So it's not really that bad. Um, the most expensive thing is like a dress for ten pounds. So that's washing and ironing. So if you do get stuff dirty, so maybe it's not such a bad thing to have this oh look then they also even do um suit and stuff like that okay this is a first i have never noticed a pillow menu before ever at any of the hotels that we've stayed at so the sweet dreams bed concept so it says dear guest to make your stay as pleasant as possible we offer this pillow menu from which you can choose the perfect pillow for sweet dreams. 
please call 133 and quote the number of the pillow of your choice so it can be brought to your room. Okay, so th they take sleeping to a whole new level. So there's the big anatomic and ergonomic pillow. There, so the, the, this is the Slovenian stuff. There's the big millet hull pillow. The soft neck supporting pillow. I think that sounds interesting for me. The hard anti-allergen anti-allergic pillow small the soft anti-allergic pillow big and the pillow mist spray ah i think that that's a winner for us breakfast is also included in the hotel accommodation so let's take a look after this short break Don't get caught spying on someone's YouTube channel. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. So I have just received the order from the pillow menu. So we have ordered the soft neck supporting pillow, which is for me. And then Marcus wanted the hard anti-allergic pillow. Oh my gosh, it's a mouthful. And in addition, we also ordered the pillow mist spray and this is from Le, Le Octane. I don't know whether I'm saying it right but I just said it. So this is kind of like those pillow sprays that we do use at home and hopefully this will provide us with a really good night's sleep. So I think this one is quite good. This is Marcus's right and then this has like some foam bits in here. So it's kind of like, um, it kind of gives support to the neck because previously I had this really, really flat and really, really soft pillow and it just like, I just kind of melded into it and then I thought, no, I'm sorry, this isn't a good enough pillow. But I do really appreciate the fact of them offering us these pillow options so that we could get a good night's sleep and we will review them and let you know how we get on at the end of the program one last thing i was very impressed that it only took them six minutes from call to knock on the door that is really really a record i think so i, I clap and i say thank you very much and I really hope that these pillows will work wonders for our sleep.
Like sands through the hourglass, so are the days of our lives. So please subscribe. So this is the shoe shine area. I think we need to press on this. Ooh. Morning. Morning. Do you want to really bump up your sneakers now? Sorry. Shall I wait for Okay. How do we... Wow. What do you think do, of that? How do we stop it? <laughs> Maybe a stop of its own accord. The Legend of the Hotel Slon. In 1552, Maximilian II was the Archduke of Austria and about to become the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. He was 25 years old and had recently married Mary of Spain. On his way from Spain, he was bringing one of his wedding presents, an elephant called Solomon. At that time, the Sultan Solomon the Magnificent was Austria's most terrible enemy. Therefore, domesticating such a powerful animal under that name was a significant symbol. Maximilian stopped at the best inn in Ljubljana with his escort and the wonderful animal, which impressed the population tremendously. The Hotel Salon was later built on the site of this inn. The memory of Solomon the Elephant was still very strong in the city, so the guest house and later the hotel were named Salon, the Slovenian word for elephant. Thank you to the Hotel Elephant for that. The bed was a good balance between hard and soft, and we did fall asleep immediately with these lovely pillows that we ordered, as well as the pillow spray. I think I fell asleep within the first five minutes, if not before that point. So that was a really good balance to help me drift off to sleep. Marcus got some of the best sleep that he had in ages. So it is a testament to the quality of the pillows, the mattress, as well as the room in general. We didn't really hear any noise because I think that there's only one room, but it wasn't directly next to our bedroom. It was next to the toilet bathroom area but we didn't hear anything from anyone else so that's a really good sign as well the room does feel a little bit warm when the ac isn't on it is feeling a little bit chilly right now but i think if you turned it off completely the temperature would start to rise and you do feel a little uncomfortable so I think I did feel a bit hot and bothered a few times, which is why, for the most part, I do have it turned on to regulate the room and to make it more comfortable. Most of the time, the channels that we had on were CNN, which was one, Sky, which was two, and BBC, which is three. I think Sky less often than the other two, but those were the three predominant English speaking channels. So those were the ones that we had on the most. This shower partition goes almost a good 180 degrees, maybe even a bit more than 180. This was a little problematic for me because I had an issue with the shower because it was, um, a shower holder, I couldn't really have it positioned in one spot because I felt that the water would have splashed everywhere. So I had to constantly hold on to it when I was showering, which is not something that I do at home. So it was something to get used to. 
I felt like I use a lot more water because of that and I felt that I shouldn't be using too much water but then at the same time I had to put it down in order to wash my hair or to use the shower gel with my loofah so it was a little bit of excess water all around and as a result the floors did get wet on a couple of occasions until I learned how to position the head nozzle without wetting the whole bathroom or a good proportion of the bathroom. Well, this is a really nice reception area because it is a space between the sleeping area, the bathroom, as well as the front of the door. So this is a good way to keep out any of the bad noise that you don't want as well as putting your luggage here, which we did, as well as hanging your jackets on these racks right here. The housekeeping staff is very prompt in making up your room. On a few occasions when we went downstairs for breakfast, they did come into the room and made up our room. So it was a nice surprise to have it all made up when we came back after eating our delicious breakfast. If you do not require them to make up your room, there is a red sign which states, do not disturb. So if you are planning on using the room before going out, then maybe that would be the best option for you. I must speak about the breakfast now because it was one of the most important things, I believe. So when you walk in, there is a coffee machine on the left hand side. There's also teapots as well as tea bags, as well as sparkling water, still water, as well as juices right in that little area. Right next to that area is the, I believe it's the yogurt area, which had the fruit, yogurts. It also had some cereal items and oats. And it also had the dessert stuff, which included, I think, brownies. It included pastries. It included more of the baked uh, really sweet type of stuff. I think there were strawberry cheesecake or things of that nature. Right next to that was the hot cooked items, which included bacon, it included sausages, um, fried egg, as well as scrambled eggs, and in the adjacent hot food area there were I believe there were um fried courgettes they also had mushrooms tomatoes um baked beans so yeah there was a lot of food oh there was also this vegetarian quiche as well as a lot of hash browns I believe that that was like one of the items that I did have almost every day. So in the next station over, it was the code meats area. So there were salami, there was ham, there was things that looked like chorizo. And then on the opposite side, there were goat cheese. I think there was mozzarella, there was edam, there was smoked cheddar. And then right at the, the tip of that, there was the sparkling wine, which I've had on a few occasions. And I do like to have a tipple or a two if it's available and provided. So that was a really nice touch as well from the hotel. And I do thank you for that. We didn't use the mini bar at all during our stay here. Although it was appreciated that we did have it in the event that we did want to use the mini bar. So that's a good thing to note about this hotel. 
Plus, they also provide this water called Dana, and they provided it free of charge every day. On a couple of occasions, they provided two bottles, so there was no need to actually purchase the water while you were in Ljubljana. Finally, we are happy that the hotel has ordered a shuttle for us to take us back to the airport so that we will not be traveling by bus or by private taxi. So that is a added benefit of staying at the Best Western Hotel Salon. And they also have this cuddly elephant which costs 15 euro and it says Hotel Salon Ljubljana Take me home and contribute to children in need. A portion of the proceeds will be donated to a children's charity. So I do believe it is always good to give back to a charity. And I think that this elephant will be a nice souvenir to remind us of our glorious time that we've had in Ljubljana. Thanks for watching this episode on the Best Western Hotel Salon. For those of you that have liked this episode, please give us a thumbs up. For those of you that want to leave a comment, please do so as well because we do like reading them. And for those of you that have not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button because it doesn't cost a thing and it will help us reach our goal of reaching a thousand subscribers or more this year come on guys i know you could do it just give us some love and hit the subscribe button and i believe we will flourish so we do thank you for sticking with us for those of you that are feeling extra generous you may buy us a coffee to help us along our way and while we're out and about filming so marcus would also appreciate that as well and until next time we'll see you later